Hello and welcome to a brand new series on the channel. This will be Rome 2 and we're going to be using the Radius Total War mod as well. Um, this series is we're going to be playing as the Greek, uh, as one of the Greek cities, um, Athens in particular. And what we're going to do is we're going to be the sh the goal is going to be to one conquer the world, but also the short term goal is to become the strongest naval power. And uh, yeah, that's what we're going to do. So that's let, let's get into it. So let's go into Grand Campaign, Greek city or Greek states, and we're going to pick Athens. And uh, yeah, let's let's do this. So we do get some bonuses, um, and we're gonna keep it on normal. Makes no like the uh, game difficulty, by the way, makes no difference to the actual AI, like how they fight. It's the exact same. It's just uh, the uh, morale that is. But anyway, let's get into this. We are in. So this is the situation we are at. We have only the city of Athens under our control. Uh, at the present, we are we have a uh, defensive alliance with uh, the Spartans. We, oh, I think, or oh, a non-aggression pact at the very least. We have a we are the vassal of the Macedonians, um, and we have pretty weak arm uh, army, uh, a pretty weak army. Um, yeah. So I think the first uh, point of call is going to be to try and remedy all of these problems. So let's uh, get you into this. We're going to disband this. We're going to have one army. Um, yes, it'll be one army, but uh, for the time being. Uh, but it will be quite a powerful force. So, in addition, uh, we are also going to have a military wharf as our um, main uh, port. For, for our port, just so we can get some better ships, because currently we are stuck with just the Tri... Uh, with just the uh, <coughs> Tri Hemola, or the uh, uh, the Hemo Hemiola. I mean, these are okay ships, they can ram, um, but yeah, I think I, I want bigger ships, uh, quite frankly. So that's what we'll have. Uh, we're also going to expand the city. And we're going to have consecrated grounds as well. So yeah. So this is this is going to be the first turn, and yeah. So the idea of having a strong navy will be to when at it, should we declare war on Macedon, we have a navy ready to go. But anyway, let's uh, end the turn, and we'll uh, we'll uh, I'll bring you ba uh, guys back should anything interesting arise. Right. Okay. One build. One building I w will build right now. So in so right so the past couple of turns it's just been me building up money, so we can have a huge uh, stockpile of it. Yeah, for whenever we need it. Um, and one building I want to build will be the Shrine of Poseidon, um, which uh, which will give us uh, plus three food, uh, give us public order, Hellenic culture influence, wealth from maritime commerce. But the crucially, the, the part at the bottom is it will give us uh, level one ship holes and mi minus five percent ship building costs, which are beautiful little things. And so that's what we're gonna do. Anyway, back to uh, back to uh, I suppose saving up money for uh, for whatever, because this basically we want Hellenization. And as for the uh, uh, for the we want Hellenization for the hoplite barracks. Uh, and we want, um, and we want the uh, organized supply technology. So this one, um, so we can build up the uh, this military uh, wharf to being a dry dock. But anyway, back to saving. One decision I have made is uh, I've also I I've turned off the uh, unit icon mod thing, um, which, uh, which to be honest, I actually kind of I actually kind of. Um, when I read it quickly, I actually thought it meant it changed faction icons, not not these icons. But I forgot the mod. I forgot what the mod was. It's been quite literal months since I played this last. So, uh, in any in, in in any case, um, yeah. So I've, I've uh, disabled the mod, and uh, we do have the issue where we do have to get some of the efforts kind of invading our lands, which is a bit rude of them. Um, hmm. 
I am debating whether to have these uh, Corinthian hot lights, considering the fact that they are better than these regular hot lights. But um, also pipe as an option. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna recruit these four and then just try and uh, expand these. Just because these guys have got more experience, so makes sense. Makes sense. Um, yeah, so we're also one turn away from logistics, so we can, uh, yeah, which I think, which does absolutely nothing, but, uh, yeah, it doesn't matter. Right, okay, here we go. So what I've been doing uh, for the past uh, couple of turns is building up a small army. Uh, well, I say small. It's decently sized, I suppose. Um, got some pipemen in here, um, hot lights, some slingers. Uh, a Kayan uh, ally uh, and some citizen cavalry and the idea is we're going to attack the Spartans um, I need to I want to crush their influence because if you look at, they just have two larger army they have larger armies and I don't like it so what we're going to do is we're going to declare war on them and try and engage this force uh, I think they are going to outnumber us, uh, so I am going to recruit some additional uh, veteran hoplites um, and also recruit some Cretan archers as well. Uh, so we have uh, some a pretty decent army in terms of what we are fielding. Now we're going to be declaring war and we're going to go for their army. Their army has just been disease ridden, so yes. Right. So it's a pretty even fight in terms of general fame. Uh, so up against uh, Ar uh, Arus versus Chimonides. Uh, uh, um, we are technically under... Um, they have technically better infantry. Um, particularly the Spartan Hoplites and the... Uh, or whatever. But we have Athenian Pikemen. And we have a ton more cavalry. Uh, veteran hoplites and uh, Cretan archers. So this is going to be a pretty even fight, I would think. So uh, yeah, let's get into it. This is the formation I've chosen to go with. Um, this is the army. Um, yeah. So we're a, a arrayed in one line, one battle line. Um, all, uh, phalanx, uh, the three phalanx regiments are in the center. Um, or battalions, whatever. And uh, yeah, on the right we've got uh, some of the hot lights, and then on the left more hot lights, deity flanking it. Uh, then on the far uh, on the far wings we have the veteran hot lights. These guys are basically the basically warriors from Sparta, or Thebes or whatever. And uh, yeah, so basically the best of the hot lights are guarding the flanks, and the I mean hot, regular hot lights are still good, just not as good as um as the veterans now uh yes so we have cavalry on either flank the hippiest lancers are in the center just ready to go uh we got slingers evenly distributed between the two flanks cretan archers in the center to try and uh to just pour fire down uh into the uh into the uh, units at, at the front and uh yeah should be a relatively easy, e even fight Right, okay. There we go. What we're going to do is we're going to concentrate all fr uh, all of the uh, light infantry together. And we're going to just try and pummel their front ranks. Particularly the uh, lighter infantry with our uh, with our spearmen. Uh, with, our, uh, with our slingers. Our, our slingers should be able to outrange the javelin men. So that's what we're going to do. There we go, that broke. Right, there are Tarantines there. So, uh, Tarantine cavalry, so. I'm gonna, gonna commit to a charge. Right into their flank. 
really nice charge. Now I'm going to charge in such a way as to cut them off from the main army. Now I'm going to uh Now the Achaean ally. I'll send the I'll send the veteran hot whites from the flank to go to us. Uh, right, we're going to turn we're going to turn all of these hot lights that are not engaged, and we're going to encircle this army. But go be careful though. We do have uh, royal Spartans incoming. Okay. Time to get the hippiest lancers involved. As for the Royal Spartans, where are they? They're here. Now it's time to complete the uh, full on encircling, uh, the encircle, encirclement. Guys around. reform the, the, the front line. Right, the, right, okay. The scissors and cavalry on the flanks are now routed. Yeah, that maneuver around was uh, quite nice. As for the veteran hotlights, you are winning. Very nice. Uh, the center pipemen, you guys are working. Um... On the line quickly. The enemy general is dead. There we are. Right, 
try and get my general to safety. Oh, the system cavalry are uh, done as well. Sweet. Just to kind of reform the front line a little bit. Many battles have been won, but then, like, on the surface won, but then very quickly lost because uh, the uh, army supposedly winning has broken formation and lost. That's how the, uh, traditionally, actually, how a lot of the Ottoman armies won. Because the Christian forces thought they'd won, therefore got overconfident. Then they would just charge in. Frequent thing. We await your command. Cavalry. Riders, advance. Citizen cavalry. Swift riders at your command. Citizen cavalry. There we go. And actually we've got a bunch of cavalry to finish the route with. Um, or to complete the battle. Right, let's try and just get rid of all of these guys. Uh, and we have a bunch of like cavalry, so it's not like we can't. It's not like we can't catch them. And what, besides, we also get it also gets us uh, experience for our units as well, which is really nice. If we can have one army that's really experienced, then that'd be great. Here we go. A full Athenian army. Um, bunch of pikemen, bunch of hoplites, uh, cavalry are, are less than just to have a huge uh, missile contingent. Um, yeah, so five units of art, uh, of uh, uh, thingers, and I also recruited, as you can see, another um, thing of Cretan archers. Now, what we're going to do is we are going to march on the Spartan army. Uh, or we're gonna move on Sparta itself, and uh, yeah, let's go. So they have a bunch of pikemen um, and some cavalry as well. So it does require some um, care once more. Um, and again, we are kind of evenly matched. But I think I have faith in the I have faith in the archers um, and the experience of this army. And right, we're deployed. Oh dear. Wait, hold on. Hold on. Oh, wait, we're deployed here. Oopsie. Right, we seem to have deployed uh, near the enemy. Oopsie. Right, let me turn this. Let me turn this around. All are right. All units. Uh, Right, we can turn around all of our archers and all of our slingers. Well, besides these guys, but they're just to support the one uh, citizen cavalry up on that flank. Turn on this, and also uh, the general himself. Actually, we can't, can we? Because... Uh, Come on. 
general is under attack. Trying to stall their advance a little bit. No, don't do that. Turn it and shoot. Shoot. What the hell are you doing? Turn and shoot. You're out of danger. Come on, fire. Enemy general is dead. Citizen cavalry, orders. as you command. Your orders, by your command. Slingers, at the double. Copy days, ready. Your orders. At speed. Commander. Pike infantry, at your command. Advance at speed. Copy days. I'm going to replace my hot lights on this flank with my, uh, sorry, replace the citizen cavalry with these, these guys. Right, now you're done. Now we need to turn back and go help out the, uh, these guys. They've held off for a long ass time. Now go back and support us. Go back in. Command. Hop 
Sorry for the quietness, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> Go over here. Cavalry. Oh, fighting on two fronts kind of made that tricky. Um, yeah, I mean, I kind of, I kind of forgot that we're coming in from this side when I was deploying, um, which is what. But I, I deployed this side because I like the hill. Um, because my idea was to try and deploy on it, but then it didn't kind of work. But I also just like the idea of these long straight lines, basically into the town itself, which would make it, so, so, you know, it, which would make it beneficial to my archers and everything. That's why I picked this way, but clearly I picked it, and so I had to kind of fight in two fronts there, which was tricky, but we took casualties, but we won, so yeah. That is the ancient city of Sparta destroyed um, with our, well, I suppose, newfound might. Um, yeah, okay, here we go. Sparta has been destroyed. And also, um, the dry dock is going to be built next turn as well. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to swap over to the Perikos camp in Sparta, which will basically give us some light infantry units we can make use of. Um, and as for the time being, I am going to... Um, get rid of the these guys for the time being um just because i would like to uh keep the costs uh, of the republic down a little bit um here we go there we are lovely uh now let's go for infantry and cavalry there we are uh this army is basically uh, we're just going to get it down to the size that it was initially, uh, which was roughly this, but we'll, we will increase it again just to just to that. We'll have six units, I think, just so we can keep that money situation going up because uh, that cash looks glorious when it's been built, when it's been built up. Uh, when do we need, what do we need for this? We need military training. Okay. Um, yeah. So, let's... Uh, Let's uh, end the turn, and then we'll uh, build our first a brand new big ship, and then uh, we'll end for today. Here we go. We now have the ability to... Here we are. Assault Hexares, Thorax Swordsman. And, yeah, they've got so much experience on them as well. Yeah, so these we're going to have a ton of. Um, probably 10, maybe. Oh, wait, I can get some of these instead of the Pentaries. Yes. We're going to become a truly, true, truly mighty naval power. Um, one, two, three, four, five. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah. Okay, so we've got 11 Ready for in orders. there. Um, there she be. And right there we are. I think that will do it for this uh, for this first episode. Um, 
I don't really know the frequency of these episodes, how frequent they're going to be. I think they're probably going to be not free. They won't be frequent um, ish. Uh, put it that way, because uh, I've got college and all the rest of it. So I don't know when the next one will be, but it, it will be soon, I promise. And uh, yeah, so thanks guys very much for watching. And until next time, um, I shall, uh, I shall uh, <laughs> see you later. Okay, goodbye.